one live. All right. How we doing, everybody? All right. Let's see. Give everybody a second. Hop on. Give us a sound check. Tell us where you're watching from. I'll tell you what's going on. I got a cheat sheet. All right. Who do we got? Let's give everybody a second here. Do, do, do. Happy New Year, everybody. First live of the new year. Donna, how are you? All right. Reg, don't start. Two people say hello. Where are you watching from? All right. Can you guys hear me? Can I get a little sound check? Dan, how are you? Good to see you guys. Four people on, hopping on now. <clears throat> Lydia, how are you? All right. Eight people just doubled. Ohio, LaGrange, awesome. That's cool. I don't know that I've been there. Master Spas, is that Kayla? Is that Lisa? Is that Kim? Who, who is at the wheel at Master Spas today? So you guys, I'll give, I'll give you a second here. Kayla, so Mary is going to walk in the door and I'm gonna warn you now, both dogs are here today. And Mary's gonna walk in the door. So we may get an explosive hello from the dogs to Mary. Mary had uh, a little procedure, a little gum, little gum surgery. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, but she's racing here right now. She's gonna be here any minute and she's gonna walk in the door and there's a German Shepherd and a Malinois roaming around in here. So there's going to be some excitement, I think, unless they recognize the sound of her car, which is possible. So I'll warn everybody now. All right. Kelly, how are you? All right, so we'll give everyone a couple more minutes here. What's going on, everybody? Did everybody have a good new year? We didn't do anything. We, uh, Beth and I stayed at home and did nothing, and it was totally fine. So, all right. All right. I wonder how far out. Mama, how are you? Hey, mom, Mary just had uh, gum surgery. She's on her way here now. It wasn't, it wasn't significant. It was, it was small, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll get the scoop when she gets here, but she's not, she's not in pain yet. I don't know if it's gonna set in tomorrow or, or what's happening, but she's, she's coming here to, to try to talk after gum surgery. <laughs> so, and she's racing here from Hamden right now. Uh, all right, Chad, how are you? All right. Hey, you two, keep it easy. All right, so let's get started. So New Year, and then as soon as I get started, Mary's gonna walk in, the dogs are gonna go nuts. That's what's gonna happen here. So today is all about wellness, New Year. Um, I hate to use the word uh, resolution because it's, you know, we, we really want to try to sustain it um, rather than that, but, you know, it always sort of ends up falling into that, you know, category where it's a, it's a resolution and, and I don't want to recommend people, we've been at this fitness thing for a long time, I don't recommend making these huge unsustainable changes because they don't last, it's unrealistic. And everybody has their own situation. Not every situation is perfect. Some people have uh, you know, a situation where they have all the free time in the world to exercise and they can do whatever they want schedule-wise and they have access to you know, uh, swim spas and pools and gyms and everything else and they can do whatever they want or outside year-round because they live in nice weather, not us. So, so I hate to, to do that, you know, that resolution thing. I, I don't want to recommend that. but. At the same time, you know, if you do need to make some changes, well, it's not a bad time to do that. Okay, so New Year, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to recommend overwhelming changes, if that makes sense. And I'm sure everyone here is, you know, very few of us are kids, and we've all been down this road a time or two, so let's talk about that. I'm going to strangle these dogs. They're already wrestling like crazy in there. So, okay. So one of the big things at the beginning of the year is do you join a gym? 
you know, and we talk about this and obviously our position is going to be, you don't need a gym, you need a swim spa. Uh, I am officially recommending both. Uh, we want to do all of these things to take great care of ourselves. And, um, and this is certainly a piece of that puzzle, if that makes sense. Okay. So that being said, some places now, Master Spa is a massive company. I happen to live in Connecticut where there's, you know, three and a half million people in a, in a postage, you know, stamp size state. So there's, everything is everywhere. You, you, you can't drive three miles without passing a gym, but we've got, we've got, uh, territories and, and dealers in parts of the country where there's not a gym for two hours and that is extremely normal um, so it's it's very easy to sit here when you live in a, in a highly populated area and say oh it's just so easy just go to the gym well there are parts of the country where there is no gym for an hour away or better and it's it's super common I mean the, the US is a large place as we all know but we all tend to forget that a little bit and when you see you know how Far it is and how unrealistic it is to you know and it, and it we talk about it with pools all the time because pools are even they're even more scarce than a gym is if you have to drive a long way for a gym you're really gonna have to drive a long way for a pool that has you know public access or if it, it has free time and, and swim allows swimming at any different time okay so that's the thing on that and that's really where the dogs are going crazy already so <laughs> can you hear them Hey, knock it off, you two knuckleheads. I'm telling you what. Okay, so so that's what we're really talking about here when it comes to the swim spas with the pool availability, with the gym availability. Gyms are a little bit easier to get into uh, than a pool is, but I cannot tell you how many dozens and dozens of conversations we've had over the years with people who they said, you know, I have to drive one hour each way to find a pool. You're talking about two hours out of your day. That doesn't include the actual workout time and it doesn't include you know the prep time the locker room the changing the drying off all that stuff you're probably talking about a three hour or better ordeal to maintain fitness per day to just do you know a 45 minute exercise routine in a pool that's unrealistic okay you, you have to view it that way that it's it's going to be very very difficult to sustain that and you want to come up with something that you can sustain Okay, and that's where we come into this. And that's why <coughs> Mary's here. You know what? Put those knuckleheads in their crates. Because they're already wrestling around and I'm going to splash them. I'm going to start splashing them and throw them in the pool. So, Mary's back. Do, 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 Constance, wish I could afford one. Hey, we've got financing. Most of our dealers have financing. So, you find, figure out a way and... and make it happen I mean it's it's not they're not inexpensive um, we're not hiding that fact but it's no different than you know a, a toy you know people have motorcycles people have boats people have cars hot rods all that stuff Lauren so it's it's not unrealistic you can get it done uh, lots of people do all right so oh you're watching I, you got when are you guys coming back Lauren's it's still they're still in Aruba when do they come back come, oh, come to come tell us everything change yeah. are you coming in yeah I it feels awesome. It's warm. It's awesome. So I did see a little bit of swelling on Mary, like 2% yeah. on her bottom lip. Are you in pain? Um, it's just started. Like the, I'm just, I'm numbing. Okay. Yeah, it's just starting. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact, uh, the smallest is a Therapool SE. It's 11 by 8. Okay. And you can exercise in it. Swimming is tough in there. You really want to do a trainer 12 if you want to swim, swim, like overhand crawl stroke. But otherwise, the Therapools were great. Uh, my mother, whose coincidentally name is Constance as well, has a Therapool D and it is awesome. And you'll never get a better review on a Therapool D than you will from my mom. So, okay. Um, so, back to Mary. When we did our last Ironman, she walked 26 miles on a broken foot. So for her to come here after having this, this minor gum surgery and talk afterwards, not really that uncomfortable for her. She's been way more uncomfortable than that. So it, that's kind of fun. Anyway, so, okay. Oh, she must've got them in the crate really easily. That was great. So next, all right. So gym availability, fear, anxiety. You have gym people, you have non-gym people. Gym people don't care. Gym people, there's a secret, and I'll share the secret with you. 
most people in the gym are only concerned with themselves and they don't really care what anyone else is doing. However, if you're not a gym person, when you go there, you feel extremely self-conscious. Everybody's watching me. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to look like an idiot. I don't want to be laughed at. None of that stuff really happens, but we have that fear, that anxiety. That is legit, and the, the, the anxiety of it is legitimate. Um, although it typically doesn't happen. It's very rare. Uh, most people in the gym would say, would support you and say, hey, you know what, try it like this, you're gonna get hurt doing that. They'll probably help you more than uh, stare at you and point fingers, okay? Tim Beal, Happy New Year. All right, John, first timer from Andover. Uh, let's see. Luke Owen, should the main swim jets be consistent? Is there some flow fluctuation? Luke, there is no flow fluctuation. You've got something going on. If you do, um, I would ask, this is for you, Luke, what kind of swim spot do you have? And I'm asking if it's a challenger, because I, I suspect I know what could be going on. It's a common thing. Mary, come on up. Tell us everything. Um, you so, look good. You look great. Yeah, it's just starting to unnumb. And I have, like, a retainer in to protect the top of my tongue, stitches on the <laughs> bottom. And I had bone loss. So they had to replace bone and the gum. Oh, my mother did that. So it was a little bit more extensive than okay. they thought. So that can be so. uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. They said tonight it, probably would be the most uncomfortable. So we'll see what happens. You're smiling. You're okay? You're going to make it? Yeah. I'm fine right now. You don't now. have a choice. Yeah, you don't have a choice. Okay. So, well. Let me just tell my mom that. You have to tell your mom. You didn't yeah. tell your no, mom. No, I did. She I was going to say. She you, just called me. You raced down here before you even told your mom you were fine? All right, so we'll give Mary a second there to, to dial in, and uh, I appreciate you. You certainly yeah. didn't have to, but I think everyone is duly impressed that you're tough. <laughs> Debbie, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Anthony Bracco, wow. Oh Luke. my gosh, Okay, hi. so Luke, 18D Pro. So you have a challenger. The challengers get finicky if you don't have enough water in them. And I'm tell I'm saying that from a Challenger 15. Yeah. Put more water in there. What's happening is you're sucking air in and it's surging because it's the Challengers they suck in so much water and push out so much water that it will do that. So that was I suspected you had a Challenger if you were asking that question and they are just so capable. Now when you talk about the, I'm talking about a Challenger 15, you go up a gear into the Challenger 18 Pro which is a beast an absolute beast um, probably my favorite swim spot of all time and we make a lot we've made a lot Mary and I have swam in a lot we have done it all um, and that is probably currently my favorite swim spot of all time that's how awesome it is did you put more water in here no oh. not since the other no it still looks good actually you know what this is for you Luke yeah so if you see those out of water neck and shoulder jets, we bury them in the water. Those on a hot tub, those are supposed to be out. Yeah, we probably okay. we just didn't have time the day that we did it to go a little bit more. But yep, we, we probably, we probably would have went a little bit more, and it, it won't suck water. But when when those when those neck and shoulder jets are completely exposed, and uh, it will suck water in a Challenger. It's just it's pulling so much water, it will pull more if it's if it's not filled up. So just top it off a little bit, and you'll be perfect. Tim Beal, good to see you, buddy. Tell Trace we said hello. Anthony Bracco, Kim, I've experienced some flow fluctuation, but it could be the way the water moves around the spa. Also hiding in the front. Kim, it's probably the same thing. Uh, make it deeper. Fill it, fill it with water and Kim, it'll Kim. stop. Kim, Kim. Mm. Debbie, good to see you. Karen, hello. Julie, Luke, should I go over the max fill line? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, we are officially telling you to and it'll stop and you'll see. Fill it up, uh, you know, you got the lights, the out of water lights, go two inches above them and it will not pull, pull air, it will be all water. And that thing is nasty, nasty capable. I love it, great swim spa. Uh, let's see, yeah, mine are completely uncovered. Those neck and shoulder jets, cover them minimum halfway up. Uh, if you wanna go even crazier, go to the top of them, it's fine, don't go any deeper than that. Um, and then and then test it, play with it. Yeah. So if you turn the pumps on and you've got the water flowing while you're filling it and topping it off, you'll you'll hear it stop and you'll hear the fluctuations and it's sucking air. Okay, I have actually also seen 
Um, there have been times where we'll take, I was going to show you, but they're all in here. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll take, you know, the grates off the, the filter housing and, uh, and so that it, it has a little, act, a little more flow of water in there. That will also help. And, and all it is is that it, those pumps pull so much freaking water. They're so nasty that it's just needs, it needs a lot of water to feed those pumps because it's moving that much. It's so fantastic. I, I like that stuff. All right, Luke, you're very welcome. That's great. Mike Diaz, what's up, dude? Uh, Dennis, all right. Okay, okay. My 15 has been down three weeks and really cloudy. Uh, Deb, let me, let me get that. There we go. Really cloudy, should have been pardoned by this weekend. Question, do I need to drain the pool and start over or just double the chemicals? Do you, I would ask you this. If you have city water and it's easy, just change it. Just, I would just change it. You know what I mean? Uh, Deb, if memory serves, you're in Jacksonville? Jacksonville? I, I know you. <laughs> I think you're in Jacksonville, northern Florida. Could be cold, could be a pain in the butt to change the water. Of course, you're probably about as cold as it's gonna get there. Maybe January, well, Jan is January, uh, would be the coldest month out of the year for you. So I, I, you know what, I think I'd probably just change it. Um, you could probably get it cleared up, but that's, that's a while to sit stagnant, even taking care of it. I think I'd probably just dump it. Because then if you dump it, get, the, get to park, get back up and running, change the water out, then you're good. Then you don't have to worry about anything. Just do it. I think, I'd, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's a pain sometimes yeah. when it gets cloudy and you're chasing Yeah, and you're it. fighting it. You're, you're going yeah. to spend more in time and chemicals and frustration than you are in anything else. Just dump it. All right. So, Deb, that's our official. Mike Diaz, love the info. Appreciate that, brother. Deb, yep. Yeah. Deb, dump it. That's my, that's my official, official, what, what would Ben do? I would dump it and not, and not look back. You're very welcome. Okay. Next, swim spot, advantage, convenience. So this goes back to that whole thing. And we've said this a million times and you guys know this. Um, you know, like take this, take this gentleman, Luke, who bought an 18 Pro, a Challenger 18 Pro. I'm gathering that he chose that one. He is a awesome swimmer. The, the crap that a swimmer has to deal with to get access to a pool on their schedule is so difficult. And then if you're in a part of a country that it's remote, forget it, it's not happening. So that, I mean, just to have that tool right there in the yeah. yard, it makes the difference between being able to, to work out on, an, on a regular basis and not. I mean, I cannot tell you, I've said this before a million times, dozens of, of people we've met say, I have to drive an hour then do the workout, then drive an hour yeah. back. Triathletes everywhere have this problem. It's just eventually going to be unrealistic to spend three hours just for a swim. And it's just not realistic. And you know, it's, I, was, I don't know if you mentioned this, but you know, it's the new year and the gyms are packed right now. So if you're, if you're one of your resolutions is to start working out when you're new to a gym and you go there and it's packed, uh, that can be super, super intimidating or if you are a regular gym goer it's the most annoying thing <laughs> i'm like i was just thinking this morning i'm so glad that we do something a little bit different well, right now because now so that there's more to it though it's not just it's not just resolutioners is that a word it is now it's not just people with their resolutions it's also people who have belonged to the gym who just haven't gone and right. everyone's like, ah, oh, it's the first. I got to go. I got to work off Christmas yeah. and get in there. So it's just packed. It is for annoying. like two weeks. And for then two it weeks. And then it tapers down. right down back to normal. So, so we would like to see you stay. Go to the gym and stay there. Get your swim spot and use it. Set a, a schedule that is sustainable. We only get one shot through this world. We only get one shot through this life. And it's up to us to make it count. It's up to us to get the highest level of quality out of it. You want to maintain youth-like movement. We want to stay fit. We want to stay healthy. We want to feel good. I personally, and my, one of my biggest fears, so I'm 49. Mary's like 36. She doesn't, she doesn't know anything about this stuff yet. I'm but <laughs> so at 49, I'm thinking about retirement and really planning on it, really saving hard, really taking good care of myself so that I didn't work my whole life to just sit in a chair, that's not good enough. In this day and age, we have access to so much good information, so much fitness, so much health information, so much wellness going on 
yeah. that there's no excuse and we should take good care of ourselves so that we can enjoy the second chapter. That's what it's all about. Okay? And I think even if it's at your house, like even if you have a swim spa at your house, yeah. schedule the time. Like, oh, that, that, don't don't skip ahead. Oh, I made a list. Sorry. I made a cheat sheet. Don't skip. Don't cut cut sorry. the line, Mary. Just because you had surgery today, there's no <laughs> no free lunch for you, doctor. All right, Sue, Very how are you? Weird feeling as the numbing is going away. Are you okay? Yeah, right now I am. All right. Did the dogs go right in the crate? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So, Carrie, how are you? All right, what's next? So next, small changes, big results. So Kim, our Kim, wrote this email, and, and I liked it. And I, Kim, I made a, a, a cheat sheet because it's all good points, and it's also true, okay? So small changes, big results, um, make them sustainable. That was the note I left for myself, and it's true. So if you, if you say, okay, you know what, January 1st, 2nd, whatever, I'm going to – Swim for an hour a day. I'm going to do 30 minutes of weights. I'm going to do 20 minutes of stretching. I'm going to get a massage every single week. I'm going to, you know, do active recovery. I'm going to watch what I eat. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop drinking. If you do all that at once, you are going to make it one week and then drop off the face of the planet. Make it sustainable. Small changes. So add 30 minutes of exercise four times a week. You know, it doesn't have to be seven. Seven is not sustainable. Four times a week. Add 30 minutes, unless you are already doing that, then you need to add a little more. If you are, you know, when it comes to nutrition, cut out, you know, the sodas, uh, sugar sodas, cut that stuff out, cut some calories out that you can change permanently. And if you, if you add, I don't care what fitness level you're at, if you cut out soda and you add, you know, 30 minutes times four, so what is that, two hours a week? I can't do that math, I'm tired right now, it's two hours. Two hours of exercise a week. Your body will change, your health will change, your blood work will change, everything will change, you'll feel better, your mind will change. Do it, that's what we're talking about. Small, sustainable, meaningful changes that are that are not so drastic. So, so if anyone's sitting here just, and you cranked up the dial on the, all the crap I'm gonna change for the year, Crank it back a little bit. Just crank it back now because you're going to end up shutting it all the way off. Don't do it. Get into a, into new sustainable habits that are small and meaningful. Okay? All right. Was there a question on there? Massachusetts. Cold with cloudy water. Dumping and refill not an option until spring. Chlorine only option me thinks. Uh, hang on. Let me get the rest of that question. Okay, it's not working. I had the other ones, Mara. This one's yeah. not going. There, there it is. Go. New owner since December 12th. December 12th. Okay, so your water is three weeks old-ish. Um, cold, cold with cloudy water. The water's cold, John? I think maybe he's just saying it's too it's cold too cold. to change the water. Okay, so you've got to get a test strip in there. So, John... Yeah. Look back and maybe maybe uh, Kayla can attach a link. If not, go to, go to Master Spa's YouTube channel. Okay, go to YouTube, look up Master Spa's, go to the channel, go to the lives on the chemicals. And there's one that, there, I'm sure there's more than one, there's on chemicals, okay? And what you wanna look at is that video. So, and I'll save you the suspense, you wanna put a test strip in there. You need to fix the alkalinity, then the pH, then chlorinate. If, if those are off. If they're off. Okay. Like if you just have no chlorine, you need to hit it pretty hard with chlorine. If your pH and alkal if your alkalinity and pH are perfect. Okay. And, and I don't, I don't think if, if you can't refill, I mean, I, I'm in Connecticut. So in my swim spots at home is outside. Um, changing the water now is a pain. Um, and I have a well, so it's not happening unless I have a pool company bring the water. So it is realistic, okay. But watch that video, that'll give you all the answers you need. Best way to clean filters during the winter, rinse them every week, They get, but they get pretty dirty. Your filters are getting dirty in the winter time because typically it's like the leaves and the junk that falls in there. But I, ours don't tend to get that you know, real dirty in the winter time. Um, honestly, I don't do them once a week either. Not even close, I mean once a month. Once a month, yeah. Once a month maximum. Um, but I would, if it, if it's really cold outside, it's like, I've got a, a, a hose bib that stays on. It doesn't freeze. It's one of those anti-freeze things. So, and then I actually drain the hose every time I use it so that if I needed to use that hose, I could on a warm day, or you can take them inside, do them in the bathtub. Okay. 
Um, they do make little hose attachments that you can put onto a faucet inside, a slop sink. Um, sometimes a kitchen, certain kitchen faucets will have the ability to put a little hose on it and you can rinse them out like that. Um, you may not have the pressure you'll have from a hose, but it'll get the job done, okay? So I would do it in the bathtub or I would do it in uh, the sink. Okay, Charlie, for me, every time it's been cloudy, my chlorine is low. Usually mm -hmm. takes some extra dichlor and a few filter cycles to fix. Absolutely yeah. true. I'll, most common, Charlie, that's completely true. Uh, the most common cause for the, the cloudiness is chlorine that's below one PPM. It's as simple as that. We see it all the time. And I, I know that everyone is afraid to add chlorine. You don't want to use too much, but at the same time, too little results in cloudy water. So, and there's, this is an age old argument between the Ben method and the Angie method where, uh, you know, the Angie method uses more shock than I do. I'll shock once a week and, you know, small amounts of chlorine and, and you know, they're talking about certain levels getting, going too high. Mm, I leave this for 10 days at a time and don't care and come back and the water's perfect and we're good with it. The big thing you want, so for me, doing it the way we do it, the big thing we want to keep an eye on is the pH because low pH will start to make the swim spa look crappy. Okay. Crystal, I have the bar harbor and do easy stretching exercises, leg lifts, bicycle motions, arm stretching, etc. for a year. Let's see, I gotta get the rest of that question. It won't let me, come on, there it goes. For a year, down pounds and a whole pant size. Absolutely, wow. Crystal, that's, awesome. that's, that's like, it's perfect. You set a sustainable and fun. Right. Yeah. Right? Oh no, I have to go do exercise in a hot tub. You know, it, this, uh, there are far worse things that you could be doing with yourself for exercise. So you did that, changed your life in a hot tub, chilling out at the same time. Freaking perfect. It's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Small, sustainable, and it's okay to have fun during exercise too. So, you know, Crystal reminds us of that. Sustainable, and look what happened. You know, down pounds, pants size, and you, you know what? And you didn't even mention in there, you probably feel, did you? You probably feel better physically walking upstairs, getting, you know, carrying groceries in the car, doing anything. I know you feel better if you're down a pan size, uh, looking in the mirror when it's yeah. time to go to work or time to go out. Everything is better with it in, in self-esteem, confidence, mental health component to this is huge. We feel good when we take good care of ourselves. And I don't mean physically feel good. I mean, mentally, we feel good when we do the right thing. We feel good taking good care of ourselves. We all do. Okay, so bravo, Crystal, that is, I, I wanna hear that. And if you have, if you're listening and you're watching this and you have that experience, comment on there because everyone wants to see it. I, I, we wanna see victories like that all the time. Uh, let's see, alkalinity and pH imbalance, chlorine is zero. What's hitting hard for a trainer? Um, I would go, it's funny, I don't really measure, I'm, I'm a bad person to ask, maybe like two, three ounces. You know, a good amount. Yeah. Hit it, hit it hard. Like I use. You're gonna laugh. I use a protein powder scoop. <laughs> and we. That's what we put in there. So that that works for us. And we know how much our scoop is. We've been using the same stupid protein scoop for three years now. Um, and I do the same thing at my house. Although it's not the same size scoop at home. It's a smaller one. So we need more there than we do here. But I mean, each scoop. You know, if you've ever looked at a protein scoop, it's. I don't know how big it is, but hit it like four or five protein scoops. If my water was trashed, I'd hit it four or five of those scoops. I don't know what that weighs, but hit it, okay? Uh, and then make sure you leave it open for 15, 20 minutes afterwards. Okay, Roxanne, I reduce a little bit the filtration time to see if the water stays clear and then small particles appear around the jets. And in filters, I increase filtration time to 10 hours a day and it's getting better, but I still have those particles. Tough to answer without knowing what the particles are or what they look like. Um, tough to answer that. Although I would, I mean, there's a couple of questions I have Roxanne. It would be, is it a brand new swim spa? Are they, is it possible that it's parts, you know, little shavings and plastic or rubber or, or hunks of silicone from the manufacturing? Cause your first fill up, you can have some stuff in there for manufacturing. It's fairly common. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen very much. Sometimes it does. Uh, not a problem, not a big deal. Little shavings, you know, everything is drilled and you have, you know, plastic pipe is glued and all kinds of stuff in there. I mean, it's a lot. If you ever saw 
those of you who haven't seen underneath your swim spa, there is so much action in there, so much parts, so many things going on in there, you'd be shocked. And uh, it would make sense that there could be, you know, some aftermath in there. So tough to say, um, although if the particles are not organic, I don't know that changing the filtration cycles really would make a difference. You might just need to fish those out of there with a little net or a vacuum, okay? I'm not sure if that helps you, but it's tough to answer that one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I was told to fill a drum with simple green and dunk filters and rinse, and they get good as new. What you think? Haven't tried it yet. Also, what about using those froggies to float and keep them from using too many chemicals? Okay, uh, I have lots to say here. The simple green, I would not try that yeah. as it's some kind of a detergent, and I'd be afraid that there's going to be leftover soapy soap on there, so I would not try that. Um, I, however, if you try it, I want you to tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's laughing right now, like, he's an idiot. Well, I am, so I'm not gonna try that, but if you do, please let us know what happened. I wouldn't try it. Uh, next, all right. Also, what about using those froggies to float? So currently at my house, I have the two, I have two froggies. I've never used them before. Um, I have two, so a swim spa requires two. There is a new frog system designed for swim spas that only requires one. It's obviously larger. Um, I have not tried it yet, but I want to. So you want to make sure that you get the froggies that's dichlor based and not uh, bromine. Okay. So unless you have no soft tread, if you don't have soft tread, you can use the bromine one if you prefer. Okay. But you just want to make sure you get rid of your eco pure filters. Bromine and the eco pure filters fight each other. They hate each other. So you want to get rid of that. Okay, so, uh, but right now, and then also, Deb, on those froggies, a uh, good friend of mine is a dealer, and he, he loves them. They, they just put people on them. Uh, it is also the most expensive way to care and treat yeah. for your water. No question about that. Um, no question it is, but it is mindless. So at least for three weeks, a month, you're not even concerned about it. Although he did say that he likes to go out and add shock you know, little, it comes with these little bags of shock, are perfect, add one or two of those a week, um, which I don't do. So if he's watching, oh, Lauren is watching, tell Andy I don't do that all the time. <laughs> all right, let's see. Crystal, absolutely feel great. I, 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 no question, I know you're, you're uh, six inches taller after achieving that, that's good, good for you. Kenny, the pool punching bag is versatile, opened a ton of exercises, it does. We, we did bring that in here. Uh, it was very splashy for using indoors for us, but I like the idea of it, but we did test one of those. It was pretty cool. So I'm with you on that, Kenny. Uh, let's see. John, three ounces equals six tablespoons. Hmm. Okay. Then I would go four ounces. If it's that, if it's that low, I, I'd hit it even harder because a tablespoon's not that much for a, for a 15 footer. Susie, we, uh, this has turned into water chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's 40 people on here and you want to talk chemicals? We'll talk chemicals. Let's do this. All right, poor Mary. Are you in agony yet? Um, you, getting just, un you getting uncomfortable? Yeah, it feels like uh, when they tighten your braces right now. I'm sorry. No. It's... All right. We had mm -hmm. water delivered. Brand new spa. Water is very hard. Is in is very hard it is in this part of the country draining water won't solve the problem because it would be the same water going back in as it's coming from the only water delivery place numbers are 501,000 uh, let's see what is 501,000 representing what 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 measurement so uh, Susie so I will tell you this I have a well my water is terrible I don't use it it's not usable it's I, I have to use so much crap to clean the water to, to keep it in there and I don't want to destroy my well doing it. I have had uh, a pool water company, our pool water company most of the time grabs municipal water and it's perfect. Once in a while they grab water from other places and it's not. So I, I have personally dealt with that. We've had bad batches of water. It just So a, a conversation with them might be in order to see if they have options on where they get their water. Sometimes they'll pull it from reservoirs where the water is dirty and they're just trying to filter it real quick and, and do that like that. Sometimes they have access to municipal water, 
but the reservoirs might be free and the municipal they might have to pay you know a little bit for although they don't charge them very much uh, so a conversation might be worth having with them but if you're talking about the, the water is very very hard you need to hammer it with a sequestering agent and if it's really bad you know maybe do it twice okay so water goes in sequestering agent and then you want to clean the filters out for the first couple of days and you don't want to chlorinate until that hardness that metal is out because it will react if the if you have super high iron levels and you you hit it with chlorine the water will turn brown like iced tea but it'll be clear if you have copper in there it'll turn green but it'll be clear it's not quite the same as like murky green when you hear people my water i when i open up my swim spa after a month and the water was green and it looked terrible that's a different green okay so not sure if that helps carrie i've been getting a lot of foam recently and i've seen algae around the edges of the tub I struggle keeping the alkalinity, I'm hitting the more button, Alka, alkalinity up. Any suggestions? Algae yeah, is I, weird. I feel like if your alkalinity is dropping, I'm almost suspecting that you're letting your chlorine go too low. And that's where you're getting the algae, and that's why you're getting the scum line around the water line. I'm, I'm assuming when you say, um, algae around the edges of the tub because foam can come from two things. It can come from like residual detergents and lotions and you know crap that we bring in and it can also come from certain water situations. So I've had plenty of times where I didn't introduce anything and just you know we were gone for a month and the water was crap when we got back. I mean that's life um, you know for, for us anyway. So I would I would fix it and then I would maybe up your filter cycle a couple extra hours and then up your amount of chlorine schedule just a little bit and see if that helps. That would be what makes sense to me from there. All right. I bought in September, it seems organic, Roxanne. So I wonder what it is. Is it bugs? Is it leaves? Is it stuff falling from trees? Are you leaving the swim spot open a lot? Um, figure out what it is and see if you can get to the bottom of it that way. Is it falling from trees? You know, is it, you got critters running around, you know? Um, I've, someone posted, did you see that post with the peanuts? No. Someone posted in the Master Spot Owners Group the other day, I didn't comment, but I did notice it, and they had peanuts on the, the shell, on the, on the acrylic, on, the, on the, the rim. And they said, does anyone know, anyone ever experienced this? They were four peanuts, you know how peanuts are like split in half and they're, they're laying down flat, perfectly placed, perfectly untouched peanuts. So, and it was like the day after New Year's Eve. So, and they said in the comment, and no, we didn't get so drunk last night that we left peanuts. We forgot we ate peanuts in the swim spa. So they were wondering if there was a critter. I, I have never seen that before. I've seen a lot of things. I've never seen that. I'd love to know what the heck happened, but something is putting it there if it wasn't them or if it wasn't someone playing a yeah. joke on them. So I don't know. Uh, I bought in September. So first fill seems organic. I'm assuming Roxanne that that's your first fill. Um, maybe on the, on the next fill you won't see it, but we do, we have seen that. And also I am absolutely convinced no one could convince me otherwise that the first fill doesn't last as long, and there's two reasons. One, for sure, we get better at taking care of the water, and the other one, in my opinion, is that there's residuals and stuff left over from manufacturer, oils, um, silicone, stuff like that, that, that affects it, some. And um, I, I absolutely believe that with all my heart. Did uh, you get the questions from ahead of time? No. Oh, this weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're running. Well. Uh, I, I checked. I didn't think there was any. Kim sent them. Oh, new ones that were good? Oh. Check. Not new ones. I thought Kim said there was no questions that were really that great. <laughs> you, well, you, I think some of them. <laughs> are we supposed to say that on there? I'm, I'm not sure we're supposed to say that on there. I, I guess I have to now. If a question is, seems like it's sort of silly, we may not bring it on here. But if it's a good one, we'll bring it on. Yeah, I All think right. we answered that. So De Deb said the spa tech told me that. All right. I've never seen that, Deb. I'm... Send me a message after you do it. All right. 
Just, um, Troy from California asked, what are the costs compared to putting in a lap pool and what are the advantages? We did already talk about the advantages of having, oh, yeah. you know, a swim spot in your own yard. And it totally depends on the size of the pool and yeah. the landscaping around it. But if you're putting in an in-ground pool, it is way more there's cost no, effective yeah, there's, to put there's in no, a swim spot. There's no comparison, the cost of a swim spot compared um, to an in-ground pool. Susan from Minnesota is wondering about an easy off cover that are not too hard to take off. Yeah. Age old problem. Yeah. It's the bane of our existence. So I like the snow covers with a good uh, hydraulic assist cover lift. Master has new cover lifters that are coming out um, that are really nice and they do a great job. So it's a new cover. It's got a hinge. Um, it's the same snow load cover pitched, you know, that folds but it's got a, a hole in it that's reinforced and the rod goes through and it really smooth opening up. It's really fantastic. It is the best cover, list, cover lifter system I have ever experienced. Um, it's brandy spanking new. So coming soon to a dealer near you. Anthony uh, from Oklahoma just asked, has the company <laughs> put in all the plumbing needs? But there is no plumbing in our swim spas or hot tubs. No plumbing. So it's just a hose that you fill it with. And one last question, Joanne from Ohio. What is the difference between a hot tub with bromine and a swim spot with chlorine? It's just what you're using to clean the water, the sanitizer that you're using. Mm -hmm. um, some people use brom bromine and some people use chlorine. If you have a swim spa with soft tread, you have to use chlorine. <laughs> we, we have a ton more questions. And um, <laughs> that's it. That's the only difference. Okay, I'm going through these last questions because it's time to roll. Uh, let's talk more chemicals. If I'm gone for six weeks in the summer, what should I do with a 15? I would turn your filtration cycles up. I would super chlorinate. I would uh, turn the temperature all the way yeah. down and run it and you should be fine. If you want to, after three, four weeks, have someone come and put, you know, three, four ounces and run it for a few minutes. Um, you could drain it in the summertime. Draining it is not going to be quite so, you know, worrisome with things freezing. However, you're going to get some algae in those pipes uh, for six weeks probably. I like to leave it run. I would turn the temperature down, clean the filters, chlorinate it, turn the filter cycles up, go, run it, come back, shock it, you're good to go. All right. How can you add more resistance to the rowing handles? Um, you could probably double up the bands if you really wanted to or um, measure that band I know that you can get custom bands made that are going to be thicker and harder. You can do that or uh, just do more reps. So a lot of times when we do those into fitness routines, we'll put a hundred reps or two minutes and just do more mm -hmm. and volume. You know, when it comes to fitness, volume is, is a very important aspect. What are some good exercises to start with? That is a big question. So I would tell you to go to yeah. the YouTube page, the master spas YouTube page. There are whole programs written more than you probably want. Try the 50-day, uh, 90 challenge, like the yeah. first first two weeks of workout. Those are 15, really... 15, 90? 15, 90, 15, 90 day, day challenge. challenge. The first yeah, do it. two it's weeks. It's perfect. Yeah, and then you can build up from that. Absolutely. The, the whole thing, the 90-day challenge is written. All you have to do is follow the instructions. All on the Master Spaz YouTube channel. Uh, Kenny, I wouldn't add resistance. That's a lot of force on those screws. I can't say I really disagree with you, buddy. I would just do more reps. I like that better. Thanks. Brand suggestions for sequestering agents. Um, I, I like Pro Team. Um, that's what we're running right here. There's lots of good ones. Yeah. If your dealer has it, it's good. Uh, careful with the box stores. I have had bad batches of chlorine that didn't have any active ingredient and didn't work. Um, so just get good stuff. You know, go to a, a real hot tub store and or your dealer, preferably, and, and get what they use. Um, how many hours a day should I filter cycle? Totally up to you. I, um, I think we're running uh, this four and four. This has a circ pump, but the hot tub we're running three and three. Um, we've done four and four, six and six. You, you, you don't need to go six and six. Four and four, three and three is fine. Uh, let's see. The new spas don't come with the yellow weights anymore. Any suggestions for what is best alternative oh, those, purchase? They never came with the yellow weights. Those yep. are actually from Amazon. Yep, those are Amazon. We bought those on Amazon because we couldn't, the, the weights that used to come with it were actually blue and they were my favorite and they're, we cannot get them. The manufacturer is no longer around. Um, but you can get some good ones on Amazon. And, in, the, in the book. And the, I don't like the floating ones. I like the ones with resistance. Mm -hmm. 
the ones that are in the exercise, the newest exercise book are yellow and they were from Amazon. And Susie, on the dumbbells that, that don't come with it, it's been years. You yeah. know, it's been probably three, four years since they came with it. That's not, it's not a new change. They, they've been gone for a long time. Squirrels love peanuts and somehow seem to always find them. Yeah, you're damn right they do. My spa's inside. I have a hard time replacing the cover with the leaf protector in when I am changing the filters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I leave the leaf catches out? Yes. Uh, we do that all the time on this one. At home, I don't do it, but on this one, I leave them out all the time. Greg, good question. Uh, let's see. Marty, I have to add 6 to 10 gallons a week of water. Is this normal? Uh, I don't know whether you're talking about a swim spa or a hot tub. If depending on the temperature, if your if your temperature is warm and you're leaving it open enough and you're getting that much evaporation, I would say it's normal. Um, everybody's use is a little different, okay? So I would just but if you, just, I mean, you could always check around and see if you see any wet spots. Yeah, I would also look for a leak. You know, you can look inside the cabinet. You can look outside. Uh, Marty, it's a TS two forty getting six to ten gallons. Are you leaving it open a lot? You don't. You'd notice a leak on a on a two forty. Um, I'm wondering if you're leaving it open, the water is 100 degrees and it's just evaporating because it will, I mean, you could, if you have a hot tub, I'll tell you this, like we'll do an event and we'll have a 7-2 uh, yeah. wet for the weekend. It will be down this much if we leave it open for two days inside. So it, it, it will evaporate very quickly. And if there's no leak, then that's all it is. All right. Did we catch up? Did we catch up? Do new lifters work in small spaces? No, probably not. They're they're pretty hefty. Um, depends on the small space, though, Donna. That's tough to answer. Um, they're 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 definitely significant. Uh, no tempest one hundred three. Yeah, one hundred three. You're gonna you're gonna evaporate fast, Marty, for sure. And a two hundred forty, you 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 know, there's not that much water in there anyway. It's uh, only two hundred and five gallons. Awesome. Okay, 47. We got to go. Yeah. You, awesome questions. Thank you for interacting. That was great. Clearly, uh, we needed chemical talk. Uh, you guys are great. I missed a bunch of stuff on this list. Kim is going to give me a vigorous spanking, and that's the way it goes. You guys steer the bus, and we're happy to do that. All right, we love you. We'll see you in two weeks. Is there anything big? I think big? it's the 17th, January 17th. 2, 14, 16? 3. You're right. Last note, when you exercise, put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Yeah. That's the Ben tip for the day. Do Not Disturb. That's your time. Schedule it. Make it happen. Stick with it. Put a swim spot in your yard. Built in America. America muscle. Go. We'll see you in two weeks. Love you. Bye, everyone.